Hey guys, Julie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in my son's room again because it is week two of the Room of the Month makeover. Now in case you're new here and you don't know what the Room of the Month makeover is, every month um, Heidi Sambo from Happily Thriving Heidi has been hosting a Room of the Month makeover challenge with several different YouTube friends. This month we have, I think, nine of us total, so... Be sure to check out the playlist link below if you want to see what other rooms are being made over this month and which other creators are doing their rooms. Now, if you missed my week one from the Room of the Month makeover, you're going to want to check it out here because um, you're going to want to see, because I'm not going to show you very much of the room. We don't actually have a whole lot of it done, but you're going to want to see what we're going for in this room. It's kind of a pottery barn sports room, but in a more mature not like when I think of a sports bedroom, sometimes I think of like a little kid's room. He's 17, so we're kind of going for a more mature looking sports room, specifically basketball. That is his favorite sport, but he will have a little bit of his soccer in here as well. So we have done a couple of the larger projects so far, and I'm going to share them with you now. This is a dresser that we picked up from the Facebook marketplace. We got it for only $20. It's the perfect size for my son's bedroom. He's just gonna sand down the surfaces and paint it blue. We're also gonna change out the hardware. Here is the finished product of the dresser. My son did a great job painting it. And these are the knobs we picked up. These are, um, I think they're called gunmetal. I believe gunmetal. Um, actually, this is not showing very well. But it's like a really dark um, metal. It doesn't look like it in the video. I'm sorry. I don't know why it looks like that. But um, I can link these. These are from Amazon. These you get, I believe we got 12 of them for like less than $15. It was a great deal. So we put these new knobs on, got rid of the old ones. I also think we're going to change out these two knobs on the closet to match. But that's what the dresser ended up looking like. Don't mind. He needs a laundry hamper. That's another thing on our shopping list. Hey, guys. So we have been working on my son's wall. And it, we've only got one strip done. Yet it has taken a long time because you don't want to make the same mistake that we made. We assumed peel and stick tile means you peel it and you stick it. I mean, we did dust off the walls to make sure there wasn't dust, but we thought it would be that simple. However, is it that simple, Zach? No. No. What happened, Zach? Let's show them. So when we weren't paying attention, they wanted to come off the wall, and they slammed down. A couple of minute time came, and... Ruined my trim banged up the trim there and then this one's really bad dad doesn't know about that one yet dad does not know about that one yikes we're gonna try i'm gonna Zoinks. try to just paint it white and maybe he'll never really notice it whoa can we put something so we ran to home depot and we picked up this high 3m high strength 90 contact adhesive it's high strength because well, it's not that I didn't watch any videos about how to do this. 
It's that I thought, oh, they're gluing it to the wall. You don't need to glue it. It's sticky. But psh, psh, they were right. You need to glue it to the wall. It's made for the floor, so gravity's not pulling it down. And on top of that, I just think it's just peel and stick. It's not like anything great. This is the stuff we're using. It's Traffic Master Self-Stick Planks. Six inch by 36 inch. This is what they look like. And they just have paper on the back. And you just peel it off. But that's not exactly how it works. So we are now spraying the wall. And I think that we are going to get a big chunk done now that we have the adhesive. We're going to get it all done. We're going to get it all done. the wall all finished we are going to change out this outlet we're gonna to try to find one that will blend into the wall a little bit better because it's kind of just like a white thing in the middle of the wall we don't really like that I also wanted to share with you guys kind of something that didn't work out so well. So we bought this, it was a quilt on Amazon. It's gray on one side and a navy and gray striped quilt on the other side. It came with the quilt and two pillow shams covers for the pillows. <clears throat> and my son really wanted a quilt. He was super excited about it, but it just arrived today and it's, he likes the heavy quilt. This is like really thin and chintzy. Um, so we are actually going to return this to Amazon and we're going to keep looking and hopefully we can find what we're looking for. Um, this I thought was going to be a win because he loved it. So we are back to the drawing board when it comes to bedding. So this didn't work out. Um, and I'm going to show you the rest of the new items. So one of the other larger things that we got accomplished was we picked up this chair. Um, I believe that we picked it up from TJ Maxx. Actually, maybe it was Home Goods. It was one of those stores. I actually think it might have been TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure it was TJ Maxx. And this is just, this is not his desk chair. We still have no desk chair. He did clean his desk a little bit, but we are definitely going to work on that. We are going to get some more desk organization going on there, but we picked up this chair. So that is the progress we have made in my son's bedroom. I feel like other than the bedding, which did not work out, the larger things we have accomplished. So I do still need to get a desk chair, which is kind of going to be a bigger item, but everything else is going to be decorative and fun, like the fun stuff to shop for and to, we have another DIY project, which You'll have to stay tuned for next week if you want to see what that is, but we have one more um, DIY project that's going to go on the wooden wall, 
and we will be posting our videos next Thursday at 7 p.m. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you enjoy room makeovers and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time.